In the last video, we looked at an example of an exponential model, and now I want to tell you about the general exponential equation. A general exponential equation is an equation of the form where we have uh, y is equal to a times b raised to the x power. Okay, and for our uh, typical problems, uh, for example in the compound interest problem, A is going to represent the initial amount, and that will also be true in other applications. And then B is going to be 1 plus the growth rate. Okay, so if we have, let's say, 8% for our growth rate, now this is building on the previous example, so 8% per year. We have to convert that to a decimal, 0 0.08, and then 1 plus 0 0.08, that gives us 1.08, that's our value for B. in this problem. And then x will be the time. Okay, so let's look at another example now. Population growth. In the year 2008, the population of the U.S. was estimated to be 301 million. And at that time, the population was growing at a rate of 0.89% per year. We're going to make an assumption here, which is a big assumption, but we'll go with the assumption that the growth rate remains the same through the year 2053. And then with this assumption, we need to calculate the population of the U.S. at that time. Okay, so in the year 2053, that's going to be 45 years from our, our base point, which is the year 2008. Okay, so therefore, we have A is 301, and you don't really need to include the million because we know we're working in millions. And then B is 1 plus the 0.89%. Converted to a decimal gives us 0 0.0089. So we have B equals 1.0089. And then X will be 45, which is the number of years since our base year. Okay, so then we can calculate 1.0089 raised to the 45th power, and then multiply that by 301, and we get our answer 448 million. 